am in the kitchen with Mark Quinones, the executive chef at the Inn and Spa at Loretto. What are we making today? Today we're doing a really great uh, crispy quail okay. with a jalapeno pea puree. Jalapeno pea puree. Pu 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 puree. Say that 10 times fast, <laughs> I bet I can't. All right, so walk me through the ingredients that you so have here. So we have some beautiful quail here from Texas, our neighbors, uh, some soy sauce and sugar, okay. our jalapeno pea puree, okay. um, some oil, seasoned flour, uh, daikon, pineapple, and a little uh, champagne vinegar and sugar. Whoa, a lot of very different ingredients, right. especially, I mean, quail. I don't think I've ever had quail before. So is it a very different kind of meat? Does it taste different? Is it, does it have a different texture? Is it pretty similar um, to like The texture and chicken? flavor is somewhat of chicken, you know? Okay. It's a little gamey, but the way I do it, you know, it kind of like makes the gaminess go away. Okay. Yeah, so it's very juicy and tender. And you said we're gonna make it crispy. Yeah, super crispy. Yeah. And the dish is very, it's a small appetizer dish. Okay. But there's a few things going on, so it's colorful, it's bright. You can see that with yeah. the jalapeno pea puree. Yeah, you got I, it. I'll, I'll get it by the end of the day. All right, well, we're gonna get cooking in a little bit, but for now, we're gonna send things over to Chad. And the quail is a cooking, folks. Mark and Yonez in and Spot Loretto. You are a busy man. We're gonna we're gonna kind of stay over here. You're flying through this kitchen, buddy. What's going on? Well, right now we have our quail, which I've uh, did a quick marinade and some soy sauce and sugar. Okay. Oh, man. Dusted in a seasoned flour. And it looks perfectly crispy. Yeah, super crispy. And we fry in a little bit of vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Not too much. I think all those quails are pretty cute. Yeah, they're so they're very juicy too. Very I juicy, want moist. I think about a cute because I'm gonna eat them. Oh, I'll eat, I'll eat, eat it still. I'll and here's, so here's our, got here? this is a jalapeno pea puree. Uh -huh. That's the famous that jalapeno is, pea right, puree. There, there, so we'll put there, it right there. here on the plate, okay. and then we're just going to push it. Look at that. Of course. See, if I did it like that, it would look like a mess, <laughs> but Mark does it, it's, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. Now, is this something that's a regular menu item at, uh, at Luminaria? Yeah, this is an appetizer right now it on is, my okay. uh, brand new dinner menu, mm -hmm. okay. and it's been a huge hit. People are really excited about it because it's light. You know, it's still fried, it's crispy. Yeah. So you, you kind of get that like, wow, it's crispy and fried and delicious. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, it's not so heavy. Right. Now, when you say new menu, you had a new menu come out when? Um, we did about a month ago. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, do people love it? They're loving it, absolutely. Okay. Good. And what and are we putting on here this now? Is a, this it's a little onions? daikon. Daikon? Yeah, daikon radish and some pineapple. Okay. So if you look at that here. It's so colorful. Yes. Wow. It's, you know, so it's super simple, it's light. You know, you have green, you have yellow, uh, white, the nice crispy brown quail. Mm -hmm. So it's just a fun, exciting dish to look at it, and then when you taste it, you know, it, it tastes even better. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I think you should taste it, to be honest with you. I, I think I should <laughs> taste <laughs> it, too. <laughs> I don't taste think you have to it. tell me twice. Now, Martin. what else is on this new menu? We have, right now, uh, we're doing our signature pork belly. We kept the bone marrow. Uh, new items include a, we, we're doing a duck leg cassoulet, okay. a lighter version, Quite with hot. really good white beans. It's and a little uh, hot. Yeah. But it's good. <laughs> a little messy. Mm. <laughs> We're doing a wild mushroom pepper del pasta dish. Okay. That's fantastic. A pineapple gazpacho. Mm. Wow. Uh, so as you know, when it's really now, hot and when you come out with a new menu, are these all like your creations absolutely. from your brain? Yes. What I do is like right now, for example, I'm already thinking about what am I going to do in the fall menu. Okay. Yeah. So this. So you think are, that far ahead? You I, think of you know definitely. what's in in the fall, and then do you just try things out? Does it ever not work for you, or do you know flavors so well that you just put it together? You know. At least for myself as a chef, I'm always constantly second guessing what I'm doing. Uh -huh. I'm always reevaluating and figuring out how can we make it better. So this is how it might look like that. So you might love it, but I don't my, know how you're going to improve on this, Mark. This <laughs> but, is incredible. But in my mind, I may want to make it better, and I, I may tweak the seasoning. Okay. I may add less of the slaw. You know, I'm always reworking a dish just to make it, you know, a little bit better every single day. Okay. And I think that keeps me, that keeps me innovative and it keeps my mind fresh. All right. So Very, if somebody wants to come and see you, where are you guys at? We are in Santa Fe, New Mexico, uh, right there downtown, uh, old Santa Fe Trail, the Inn and Spa at Loretto, and we're open seven days a week. Um, we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we have our living room lounge, um, our beautiful spa as well. Okay. You know, so it's a, it's a great place. Like I always say, go to go to Santa Fe, go to the spa, go see Suzanne, get a nice treatment, mm -hmm. and then walk over to Luminaria and just have an amazing dinner Order on this, our patio, uh, which is this. open right yeah. now. Right. This is great, guys. We'll be right back here on Two Casa Style.